What's up, JFusion fans? Welcome back to another toy review, and today we are going to take a look at Kamen Rider Falchion Sodo figure. So, I was uh, trying to decide uh, which uh, Sodo figure I'm going to get for this lineup. To be completely honest, I was really tempted to also get uh, either the Elemental Dragon or the... Uh, emotional dragon as well but uh you know uh i, I was deciding to get only one <laughs> and uh, you know what since i don't have a lot of uh, sodo villain villain figures i decided to get uh falchion uh for this review so as you can see this pose that he's in is the exact same post that I took a picture of and posted on the JE Fusion Facebook page and probably the same one that I'm going to use as the thumbnail for this video. So anyways, let's take a look at this action figure, uh, starting first with the packaging. So as you can see here, uh, as with any other uh, Sodo packaging uh, or any other Sodo figure, so it comes in two sets. We have the uh, main body and then the armor parts and accessories. So yeah, uh, that's how it looks like. And at the back, so again, basically the same. And I, again, you can also see the other common riders that are uh, included in this lineup. So there are four uh, Saber figures or Saber, uh, common Rider Saber uh, so the figures, so again, one of them is Falchion. So the other figures are the Elemental Dragon and the, uh, sorry, Elemental Dragon and the Emotional Dragon. I think, uh, yeah, you can also have the, uh, you can also get the Primitive Dragon here in the middle. Yeah, there you go. So there's, there are a lot of uh, figures for this lineup because, uh, again, you get three forms for Kamen Rider Saber, you get Falchion, and you also have uh, Kamen Riders Zaya and uh, Mitsubo Jinrai as well. Uh, but again, I've decided to choose uh, uh, Bakht for this one as Falchion, so there you go. So you notice that the boxes are also intact because uh, for the most part, I actually didn't need to take a look at the instructions on how to put the stickers because uh, that's basically the only reason for me to actually rip these open. So if I'm not sure how to put on the stickers, that's the time that, that I actually rip them open. Uh, let's say, for example, in the previous uh, review where I actually took a look at the Psycho, uh, X Swordman form. Uh, I did have a guideline for that, like I was uh, watching a video for reference. Uh, but this one actually, no, no reference at all. Like uh, everything felt uh, like they should go uh, into places where they should be. But uh, generally speaking, yeah, uh, I did not need the instructions for this one, nor did I even need a reference video. So, anyways, let's take a look at the figure. So, again, I've already put it in a pose, actually. Uh, I've also put on the open uh, left hand. Now, my major issue with this one is the stickers. <laughs> so, uh, m maybe this is just me, but... Uh, if you look at this one, I ruined the tip of the Mumeiken uh, Kyomu uh, because I was actually trying to align the sticker to the sword. Yeah, this is uh, just like any other common uh, uh, Rider Saber Sodo with a similar style sword. So like uh, Thomas, for example. So this is just one piece of a sticker and then you li line it with that. But because... Uh, I wasn't able to align it properly the first time, so I was actually trying to remove it. But even though it's not really, like, pressed on hardly, like, it just touched uh, the surface of this, uh, the sword, I, I tried to just move it 
and then uh, apparently the adhesive was quite tough actually that it stuck there and when I pulled so yeah it kind of ripped off I, I'm not sure if you guys can see that properly even even at close-up uh, range so yeah <sighs> yet so uh, anyway uh, that I, I guess that's just me but I was actually thinking of removing it entirely but uh, then again I got lazy <laughs> now for this uh, review so it this does come with runners uh, th these are for the hands but this runner uh, sorry this runner right here that I'm holding this this one is for the Kilmu. this one is for the sword which is odd considering that uh, the past uh, figures that I have, at least the two Kamen Rider Saber Sodos that I have, which are Saber and Psycho X Swordman, the swords did not come with runners, which had me thinking, why? <laughs> this is completely unnecessary, but that's just, you know, something that you can throw away anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's my only mistake. There is also one... Uh, not really. Uh, at least for the body, uh, maybe the eyes are... The, the eye stickers are not really that perfectly aligned. Actually, the left side, I don't think I was able to put it properly. But I guess no problems in general. Like, it still looks like where it should be. It just doesn't look equal. But if you look at the chest, uh, so the lines on the chest thing... I, I don't know if you can see that properly. So, looking at the chest, so those lines are actually individual stickers. So, I'm going to show you guys the sticker sheet for that. Uh, and this is also, by the way, if you can see this extra sticker right here, that's for the action base. I am not using this. Uh, so, yeah, all these lines, yep, these are the lines that make up the chest. And... If you look at the chest, there is a recess there, so it does go down, and you really have to be careful with this one. So, fortunately for me, I was still kind of able to put them in place. There's just, uh, they just don't look aligned. Uh, I know it's not capturing properly on camera, especially when I have it up close, but... Yeah, because of this, uh, I wasn't able to really get uh, perfect alignment for these chest stickers. But overall, like for the rest of the body, yeah, it's fine. So there you go. So of course, uh, let's take a look at the articulation. Moving on. So yes, you do have the head. Very nice. Uh, moves around very well. So there's no collar to stop it. So, uh, unlike most of the riders in this, uh, well, I do believe like the other rider that d doesn't have that kind of problem is uh, Kenzan. So, F that guy. So, anyway, yeah, it can move up and down. So, up slightly, down very well. Uh, you can actually even uh, move it side to side uh, if you really want to only ever so slightly again the 360 spin no problem so for the uh, arms uh, go up very nicely uh, 360 spin and you can also see the elbow action right there and I just uh, turned it way too much but yeah you can actually uh, turn it around wait uh, I think I, okay, <laughs> I did turn it around so much, but yeah, uh, basically 360 spin, there you go, uh-huh, uh, the uh, upper arm uh, pivot, uh -huh. very nice, so of course, because the hands are removable, so you can turn them around like so, okay. So, of course, the same thing with the right arm. So, even though the 
shoulders are asymmetrical. Yeah, the range of movement when you put the, when you try to raise the arm like this, pretty much the same. Uh, for some reason, uh, this joint just feels a bit loose here. Not really loose, but uh, definitely not as tight as the right sh uh, shoulder. So this joint right here, so this one, yeah, moves very smoothly to the point that I'm concerned that this might uh, come loose uh, if you play with it too much, much, uh, like, quicker. But the other arm is actually tighter. Mm, so guess that's a minor issue. But again, uh, the articulation pretty much the same. So the waist joint, because it is uh, separated into two halves, uh, so let's just remove it like so, yeah. And of course, it can definitely uh, move around at the waist. Uh, only uh, stopped by the... Uh, uh, ha uh, Haken blade driver, so it also has a skirt at the back. So, so this is the skirt joint, but uh, yeah, that's uh, so. These two parts are uh, the one stopping uh, falchion from turning three sixty. But otherwise, yeah, it can. So. Looking at the legs, so I'm using the right leg because it's the free leg without the uh, side skirt. So there it is. Uh, of course, with the other leg, yeah. Uh, if you, you can raise that because of the joint at the back. But yeah, not really a full uh, split there. So front kick, well, not so much i guess uh, close enough to 90 degrees but again like this is like somewhere in the 89 degrees but close enough to 90 uh the the knee bend actually uh has uh definitely a, a more acute bend if uh, if i am correct if yeah uh definitely greater than 90 degrees, so like it can bend a bit closer. Of course, the uh, feet are on a ball joint, so it can pretty much do whatever you want with the feet. Yeah, turn it around. And because there's a recess in here, you can actually uh, position it like so to give it a more dynamic stance. And actually, it helps with the balance. So again, when you uh, pose these figures with an open leg stance so it's no problem and you know what because uh, this has very much uh, this figure is very much capable of a rider kick which I am going to attempt so uh huh yeah okay Right, so there we go. Yeah, that's the rider kick. No problem there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to put on this messy up uh, Mumake and Kyomu, and there you go. Uh huh. So, right, rider kick with the sword. Uh, so, that's how the blade looks like in the hand. So the hand guards not are not going to affect his uh, positioning. So yeah, very nice. I actually like the simplicity of this figure. I know, uh, like the side skirt, sure, uh, but compared to uh, like saber, for example, this is actually. At least the body is a bit more simplistic in my opinion, but again, that's not that's not a problem. The head, though, uh, very nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I do like this. So there we go. So that is Kamen Rider Falchion Soda action figure. Uh, of course, uh, it's not Soda without the gum, but I already chewed it up <laughs> and before. 
watch uh, before recording this video so there we have it uh the issues like the chest stickers uh i definitely going to have to say like if you're planning to get this one for example be careful with the chest uh i i will because i made this mistake so yeah please do be careful with sticking on the sword as well or rather uh trying to realign uh the or trying to align the sword so yeah it like this part especially is very very sensitive uh, like material so again when you do this part please be very careful is so these parts specifically but uh Articulation, very much uh, standard for any uh, common Rider from the Saber franchise, so, or the Saber series, uh, uh, I should say. So yeah, mm, pretty much, uh, again, uh, articulation accessories definitely there. So speaking of accessories, so this is the action base that it came with. I just didn't put on the name sticker because just in case that I need a blank uh, action base for uh, a different kind of uh, let's say action figure like or not really action figure but any Shul Bandai Shokugan figure for example that uh, can be supported with an action base uh, I can either use this so yeah I and I don't need to see the awkward naming there and i can just remove these hands of course because it has holes you can see that where the light hits there you go so if i want to remove the hands i can put it in either hole so there you have it right so again that's it for uh common rider falchion so the action figure uh i see uh what well, with the stickers uh being the only main issue for me personally but uh again with everything said this is actually going to be a four out of five nice enough and uh since i also have a uh, common rider psycho uh, exorbitant i can definitely uh use them to recreate the uh the history between Bach and Yuri, <laughs> who knows? So yeah, uh, uh, definitely uh, a nice uh, figure to your collection. And you know what? I can use this in a future episode of uh, Rider Kicks. So my DIY tabletop game. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like comment share this video subscribe and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from je fusion as always this has been philip and i'll see you in the next video i'll be back